New at five, we got our hands on a new report from the state auditor. The report says you could be on the hook for more than $200 million if the company building and operating the tolls defaults. Why is that important? Well, the company has defaulted on two other toll projects. Tanya Mendez has gone through the report and has a story. The developer behind the I-77 toll lane project has defaulted on other projects in other states in the past, so it's not crazy to think that a default would happen again. If it did, though, North Carolina would be on the hook for hundreds of millions of dollars. Since the I-77 toll lane project began, it's awful. There's been more complaints than drivers snarled in traffic. It's going to cost money, whatever solution that we do. But now it turns out if the contractor defaults on the project, it could cost us even more. $231 million for taxpayers to shoulder. That's according to this audit released Tuesday, 76 pages long, probing the toll lane project and the process of how the contract was awarded in the first place. It stems from complaints from lawmakers that the contractor, Sintra, may have been given an unfair advantage when they first bid. But the audit determining Sintra got that contract fair and square. And even though Sintra has defaulted on two projects in the past, the auditors don't think we have anything to worry about now. Drivers still hoping for a better road ahead. I'm not going to pay, pay tolls and I drive to Charlotte every day to work and I, I won't, I would not ride in the, the toll lane. It's a bottleneck so we need to uh, open it up a little bit. On I-77, Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. All right, Tanya, thank you.